Hey guys, it's JD from Eastwood, and in this video, we are going to be taking a closer look at the Eastwood Engine Compression Testing Kit. Now, this is going to be a great option to ensure the overall health of your engine. If you're worried about things wearing down, like your valve seals, your piston rings, picking up a cheap budget-friendly kit like this is going to be a great option for you. So, what do you get included in this kit? First of all, you get a nice big gauge, easy to read, and this is the type that's going to hold its reading until you press the button on the side to release it. Very nice, allows you to see exactly what you get as far as compression goes. It also has a dual scale on it, goes up to 300 PSI or 20 kilo pascals. Also included in this kit, you get a nice 20 inch long extension hose, 300 PSI rating. Like this entire kit, industrial fittings on the thing, so nice and sturdy and allows you to get more comfortable just when you're working with this thing or if you have to reach deep down in the engine bay. That's a nice little extension to have. Of course, you get all of the adapters you're going to need for all the common spark plug thread sizes. You get M10, 12, 14, and 18 included in the kit. Also, you get two rubber conical ends as well. If you want to do a quick test, you can remove a plug, smash that in there without having to thread anything in, and get a quick reading. Very nice to have. You get a straight one and an angled one in this kit. Also, comes in a nice blow molded case, keeps things organized, easy to store, keeping everything clean. Also, very nice touch, easy to throw on the shelf. So without any further ado, you guys are probably wondering what I have behind me. This is my 1980 CB750 project. We're going to run a compression test here and see what we get. We're going to put this kit to the test. Everything is really easy to see on a motorcycle like this. So let me show you what it looks like. All right, first thing you want to do, make sure your engine is up to temp. Then you want to label your spark plug wires. You can see Honda already did that for us. Number one right here. This one's number two. Three and four are on the other side. So no label, no tape. Also, before you pull the actual plug out, you want to make sure the area is nice and clean. A little bit of compressed air around there to get any dirt and debris out of the way. And then we can pull these plugs out. So now we can put our compression tester together. I already know what threads we have here, so we are going to be working with this adapter. Just going to thread that onto our hose and then get the gauge on the other side. Good to go. All right, so we're going to get this threaded in nice and snug, and we're going to hop up there crank this over, and then we're going to peak this needle, crank for about 10, 15 seconds. You'll know as soon as this needle stops moving, we'll have our reading. So let's see what we get. So reading on cylinder one, not great. Just a hair under 90, factory spec, should be 170 plus or minus 15, I believe, plus or minus 14, I think is the, the number. So not great. This is 41 years old, uh, to be expected. Hopefully, the rest of the cylinders are all within the same range. Hopefully, it'll be an easy fix, just freshen up the engine a little bit, some new rings. We're going to consult with our in-house engine guys, figure out what's going on. But first, let's get the rest of these readings. All right, a little tough to get in there. I'm going to take the tank off. Hose clamp pops right off. It was a little bit of access. Gonna be for the best. All right. Not great, less than 90 again on cylinder two, but in the ballpark, uh, let's go on three and four. A little bit less than the first two, but still right within the same range. Let's do four. All right, four cylinder, still within that same range, 85, 90, clearly. 
We got a 40 year old engine here, so it needs a little bit of a freshen up. Uh, we're going to talk to the in house engine guys, see what they have to say about this thing, but compression tester did its job just fine. Subscribe, we're giving away a MIG 180 welder at 500,000 subscribers. Also, head over to our channel. We have tons of great how to content you're definitely going to want to see. We'll have the compression testing kit linked below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm JD. Make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.